Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford C Max, Ford Fusion, Lincoln MKZ. And if you have code P0300, stay with us. We'll explain what can easily cause that and how to fix it. It could be multiple things. Make sure you stand till the end. One of those things is something that most people never replace, but it's an item that you actually should replace quite often. And if you check your manual, it will actually say that it's a serviceable item. So all that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. Another thing, if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts, tools, uh, anything for your car guys, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So why we guys mentioned all these three vehicles for C-Max, Ford Fusion, Lincoln MKZ because they share the same drivetrain, same engines, we'll be demonstrating on a hybrid energy here but if you have a hybrid or non-hybrid engine the procedure will be about the same. So let's go ahead and remove the upper engine cover for any of you that need help with that guys. Okay we'll have the video on the channel how to remove upper engine cover step by step, we have everything pretty loose and so we don't waste your time but if you look at the engine here practically it's like a non-hybrid engine now right here guys. What can because, okay, code P0300. Code P0300 indicates, guys, okay, having, okay, random misfire. Random misfire means, let's say, one time cylinder number one will not fire correctly, then it could be number three, cylinder number three, then maybe four, two, then again, three, one. You never know, guys. It's not just one cylinder. If it's a certain misfire on one cylinder only, most likely it's a bad spark, poor ignition coil, or fuel injector. But random cylinder misfire, guys, could be caused by so many things, and we'll share the most common ones that we see here at the garage. Of course, it could be other ones as well, but we'll cover the most common ones, okay? And 90% of the time will be one of those. So, one thing, guys, random misfire, vacuum leak, okay? That's sounds so frustrating it's hard to find vacuum leaks in some cases but with a smoke machine it's easy vacuum leak is some extra air the engine gets but it doesn't know about that air right here you have the mass airflow sensor that detects how much air is going to the intake hose and if you have a loose clamp cracked hose not installed correctly leaking gasket on the throttle body gasket on the intake manifold leaking or uh, anything such as leaking purge control valve Purge control valve that doesn't close, broken purge control line, okay, anywhere that the engine can get air, okay, but it cannot calculate about that air, like right there, another vacuum line as well, guys, okay, all that can cause vacuum leak, practically the engine is getting air, but it doesn't know about that. Another thing, guys, that can cause vacuum leak is the purge, okay, uh, the, uh, the PCV valve, guys, and that PCV valve, okay, it's... Uh, Back there between cylinder 2 and 3 guys, right here, if we get between cylinder 2 and 3 we'll get the endoscope camera so we can show you without taking the engine apart. Okay, right there, perfect. This is your PCV valve. The PCV valve, practically the purpose of that valve guys, when the engine runs it will have a blow by gas, it will create pressure and that pressure needs to come out otherwise you will develop multiple leaks and the engine will be destroyed. Uh, but uh, that purge valve catches uh, practically that air, the oil goes back to the engine, but the air is uh, put directly into the intake manifold, so it can burn through the engine. But if that valve is stuck open, that can cause vacuum leaks as well. So bad PCV valve can cause that. We have a video on the channel how to replace it. That's the item that is serviceable and most people never replace it during their lifetime and that uh, item can cause increased oil consumption as well. So PCV valve is a must to replace it, guys. Another thing that can cause, okay, random misfire and code P0300, okay, is weak fuel pump. Fuel pump not so applying enough pressure, a dirty fuel filter, that way you may be starving for fuel at higher RPMs or needing more power. Having water in the fuel tank, that can easily cause that as well. Dirty fuel injectors, okay, can cause that cold simply as well, guys. So uh, those are quite common. In other cases, you may have a bad oxygen sensor that's not reading the mixture correctly, especially upstream oxygen sensor. Uh, and the purpose for, for that sensor is to detect how much air and fuel you have in the end in the exhaust system so uh, the engine computer can calculate do we need more air more fuel so we have a nice balanced mixture uh, mixture that will let the engine run efficiently and clean as well and if that oxygen sensor is sending the wrong information okay 
let's say it says okay we have lean fuel mixture but it's actually not the engine will start putting more fuel that can cause okay misfire or even the other case not putting enough fuel can cause misfire so all that guys okay can be caused by an oxygen sensor as well but i'll check vacuum leaks first fuel pump make sure fuel pump is good fuel filter fuel pressure regulator okay because if you don't have enough pressure or too much pressure that can affect it as well oxygen sensor okay check for water in the fuel as well and i recommend to check spark plugs why because spark plugs guys okay sometimes when they get old or you have the wrong type of spark plugs installed at higher temp temperatures when the engine warms up they might start misfiring we had that case as well those are the most common things we see hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time